primarily by their size and aggressive posturing, but they rarely fight over mating rights. Kudu cows and their calves form family units, which the young males leave at three years. They are prey to mainly wild dogs and hyena. When fleeing, they raise the tail to expose its white underside. This acts as an alarm signal to others in the herd. This medium-sized canine is found almost everywhere in southern Africa except thick forests which it shuns. It has an omnivorous unfussy diet that varies depending on its location. In the bush it eats rodents, small antelope, reptiles, birds, insects and the like. In coastal areas jackals scavenge on fish and seals. They eat fruit for its water content. Mating pairs remain together for life although jackals are usually seen alone. While jackals hunt, they also frequently scavenge off carrion, inviting themselves on a meal of a carcass killed by larger carnivores. This is one of the most commonly found buck in the Kruger National Park. Impala have an unmistakable shiny hide, rich brown on the top, sandy on the lower side and white undersides, black and white markings over the rump. They graze selectively, preferring grass when available, but also eat other plant materials, including flowers and bark. They live in smallish herds, like the one shown here, of up to about 20 but these herds group with others in search of grazing and water sources. Impala are extraordinarily territorial and defensive. Sexually active males are aggressive and fight frequently over mating to drive other males out of their territories, which they mark out and display carefully with their scent glands and droppings. In fact, the territory-holding rams devote so much of their time and energy to defending their dominance that they can forget to feed, can forget to feed, become ill, and fall easy victims to invading males. When a breeding herd passes through male territories, the male herds the respective females, often aggressively and with the use of their horns, to prevent their escape and mates before allowing her to leave. Impala are hunted in voluminous quantities by a large number of predators, especially wild dogs, cheetah, lion, leopard and hyena. Protection from such animals is provided by a guard, one of the herd members, who can raise the alarm at an approaching predator. Impala have special alarm glands, when a herd is threatened, that release an airborne scent that provides an escape trail to help other impala. The spotted hyena, like a heavily built dog with powerful forequarters, is designed for living in the wild and thrives in conservation areas where they can find plenty of prey. Otherwise, they've been driven to virtual extinction across southern Africa. The hyena shown here has distinctive dark spots that fade with age, distinguishing it from the other subspecies, the brown hyena. This dog's preferred diet is medium-sized prey, such as impala, wildebeest, schemsbock, other buck, and zebra, but it will eat virtually any living creature that it safely can. Hyenas both hunt and scavenge for their food, like the jackal we saw previously. These are powerful animals with great stamina. They kill by disemboweling their prey, often after a protracted chase of speeds of over 50 kilometers an hour. Hyena make dens in caves and animal holes where they take protection and rest. They are active at night and can travel up to 70 kilometers in one journey. During the day they rest in the shade and are often seen cooling in the water. They are social animals and remain in clans with a core of females. The clans are territorial and marked out by scent glands and droppings. The females dominate in this species. The males are 